Hello there. My name is Damon, aka God of Funk. Advertising is as much an art as it is a science. A good ad gets people interested in your product by highlighting its value proposition in a way that builds both confidence and curiosity. Some do this with humor, some do this with statistics or relatability. And some, it seems, try not to do this with copious amounts of what the fuck. Here we're looking at an ad of Sharon and Darren talking about a bowling alley. But the tagline is kind of messing up everything. It says, it's amazing what you can do with two fingers and a thumb. Oh, the good old days of throwing sexual innuendos in ads. Now everything is PG-13, even if it's as family friendly as goddamn Coco Melon. Imagine seeing this ad on the very bottom of the front page of the newspaper in the morning. And you're like, Oh my god, now they're printing condom ads on the front page of the newspaper. What am I reading a newspaper about Pornhub or something? And you're almost about to cancel your newspaper. But then, but then, you read that little tiny information at the very bottom of this ad which says, Rock and Roll Bowling Alley. Contact us for more. Rock and Roll Bowling Alley? How is this an ad about a bowling alley? And if you look closely at Sharon's face, you can tell that she is not enjoying one eye out of the presence of Darren behind her back. No sir, she's using that fake laughing technique to act like everything is normal. <laughs> Darren, where are you two fingers? <laughs> huh. I don't know Sharon, you tell me. Creepy Darren, shoo, shoo. Yup, we're looking at this Dunkin' Donuts mascot that actually looks like a walking a-hole. In no freaking world it looks like a donut. If I had not seen that Dunkin' Donuts logo on top of that mascot, and I would see that person just standing there, I would be like, holy freaking hell now what these feminists are up to. And if you look at that guy's trousers, you can see that some crazy sick shit is happening right before our eyes. And if you look at the left leg of the trouser, it seems that there is only one leg. And if you look at the right leg of the trouser, it seems that it has two legs. God knows what the hell is going on in this picture. And here we're looking at this fucking bookcase that converts to coffin when needed. When needed? What do you mean by that, Doc? Who we're selling this to? We're selling this to normal people, right? Or we're selling this to serial killers or murderers? And let alone normal people. Why are we selling a bookcase that converts to coffin in the first place? What kind of twisted people we're selling this to, Doc? Picture your grandma is dying. Please call the ambulance. But no, instead you decided to convert the bookcase into coffin. Because that's what was needed. And here we are looking at an ad which says, Getting drunk is never an excuse. She's your daughter, not your date. What in cousin fucking tarnation? Alabama Betty Crocker? Miss fucking Betty White shit is this? Holy shit. Holy sexy cousin, I started speaking southern accent all of a sudden because of this ad. Look, this ad might have a good intention behind it, no puns intended, but it's coming off not as a serious ad, but as a joke. And why is there Ivanka Trump's face on that? Is that a reference to Trump? Who's gonna take you seriously? And where's this ad installed? In the middle of the forest or something? Wait a minute, I mean that's exactly where you're gonna find retards are screwing their cousins and daughters. Oh god, I need holy water now. This is Kruber. Screw Uber. Message me and I'll come get you in a 1989 Pontac Firebird with a fifth of whiskey and an 8 ball blasting Motley Crue on the speakers. And I'll holler, hell yeah brother, at everything you say. Are you 45? Hell yeah. Are you retarded? Hell yeah. Are you an alcoholic? Hell yeah. Are you paying taxes? Make sure to subscribe and turn the post notification sound so you'll never miss a video. And make sure to subscribe to my main channel where I post similar contents like this every single day. This world is a big crazy carnival and I'll see you in this carnival next time.